The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To find the value of x in this example, our first step is to create a right triangle by drawing the following perpendicular segment. Now we can see that x is the hypotenuse of the right triangle that is formed, but we need to find the lengths of the legs of the right triangle. To find the lengths of the legs, notice that a rectangle is formed on the left side of the figure, and since opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent, we know that one of the legs of our right triangle has a length of 12. To find the length of the other leg of the right triangle, since opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent, we know that the left part of the segment at the top of the figure has a length of 14. And since the full segment at the top of the figure has a length of 19, then the right part of the segment at the top of the figure has a length of 19 minus 14, or 5. Now we have the lengths of both legs of the right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of x. The Pythagorean theorem states that the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs of a right triangle is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have 12 squared plus 5 squared equals x squared. Solving from here, 12 squared is 144 and 5 squared is 25. So we have 144 plus 25 equals x squared or 169 equals x squared. Finally, we take the square root of both sides to get 13 equals x.